Russia's invasion of Ukraine has been disturbing the European bloc a lot lately. The Baltic states and the Scandinavian region in particular are united in their opposition to Putin's efforts to create a vast new battlefield. This attitude extends from Poland to the Baltic coast, from Kaliningrad to the Lithuania-Latvia-Estonia junction. Even the Finland-Sweden-Norway triangle has a similar policy towards Russia. Among these countries, Estonia has adopted one of the toughest policies against Russia. Currently, Estonia has provided over $527 million in military aid to Ukraine since February 2022. This is equivalent to 14 thousandths of the country's gross domestic product. This makes Estonia one of the countries providing the most military assistance to Ukraine as a percentage of its GDP. In addition to all this aid, Estonia has recently taken a very important defensive step against Russia, doing a good job of confining Putin to the Baltics. Before discovering what kind of a move Estonia has made and how other countries in the region have developed a military strategy against this situation, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and like to be informed about our content. Let's start our video now. First of all, we should mention that Estonia has acquired the Blue Spear anti-ship missile system, giving the country its first long-range precision fire capability. The shipment of the Blue Spear 5G SSM anti-ship missile system represents a major leap in Estonia's naval warfare capabilities. This high-tech missile system is part of Estonia's comprehensive coastal defense complex solution and covers almost the entire Baltic Sea with its firing range. It is also evident how Estonia has put Russia in a stalemate in the Baltics after introducing these missiles into its Navy's inventory. The latest addition to the Estonian Defense Forces, the Blue Spear 5G SSM, is a state-of-the-art missile system designed for optimum performance in all combat conditions. With a strike range of up to 290 kilometers, it offers day and night all-weather capability advanced targeting capabilities utilizing active radar guidance, precision navigation, and a hardened communications network make it resistant to electronic countermeasures. The acquisition of anti-ship missiles is critical to raising the level of the Navy's and, more generally, Estonia's defense capabilities. The acquisition of these missiles is another important milestone necessary to ensure the safety of the Estonian people and defend the country at sea, on land, and in the air. The presence of blue spears in the Navy significantly increases the firing range of the Estonian Defense Forces and strengthens deterrence against a potential aggressor. In addition, the Russian Navy is targeted by these anti-ship missiles over a wide area from Kaliningrad to St. Petersburg. Therefore, it is now risky for the Russian Navy to roam freely off the Baltic. A Blue Spears anti-ship missile fired from the direction of Tallinn could destroy an element of the Russian Navy. Putin may face an incredible dilemma in taking this risk. General Martin Harum, the former Estonian Minister of National Defense, stresses that anti-ship missiles are not part of the anti-landing war, so there is no need to wait for the aggressor's ships to approach the coastline. General Harum emphasizes that if Russia goes to war with Estonia, its connection with the Kaliningrad region will be very weakened. We can fire along the coast, but also inland. Basically, we can launch a missile from Matsalu that will fly around Hiuma and reach the open sea to hit a ship there. The distribution of the launchers and the trajectory of the missile make it very difficult for an enemy to intercept. Harum explained. These statements prove that Estonia will not wait for Russian naval assets to approach the coastline, including Tallinn, but will act directly in case of any threat. The general also hinted that Estonia could destroy Russia's entire Baltic fleet if an aggressive move is made, but not alone. Former Defense Chief General Harum also cited NATO's Article 5, arguing that Estonia's anti-ship capability should be seen in the context of its allies Finland, Poland, Latvia, and Sweden. The Baltic NATO force now has a very serious anti-ship arsenal. As a consequence, the general underlined the need to divide the powerful ships of the Russian Baltic fleet.
Since the Blue Spear's anti-ship missiles have very powerful technical and modern characteristics, Russia's naval dominance in the Baltics could be seriously shaken. This missile has a secondary land attack capability. While the cruise missile is probably somewhat limited in its capability against hardened targets due to the warhead being optimized for the anti-ship mission, this marks the first long-range precision fire capability for the Estonian Defense Forces. As we mentioned, Estonia continues to integrate the HIMARS system for these missiles. The integration of HIMARS and Blue Spear's anti-ship missiles worries Russia much more. The Blue Spear 5G anti-ship missile system, which is expected to put Russian naval ships in a difficult situation with all these features, together with sea mines, forms the cornerstone of Estonian naval defense for the coming decades. The missile is reportedly very close to the basic IAI Gabriel 5 operated by the Finnish Navy. This means that both NATO allies on both sides of the Gulf of Finland use the latest generation versions of the Gabriel. Another related version is the Sea Serpent, proposed by IAI and Thales for the UK Interim Surface-to-Surface -surface Guided Weapon Program. This version was on the agenda until the program was first cancelled, and then the Kongsberg Sea Attack missile was purchased as a stopgap measure. Now the focus is on the Estonian Blue Spear, which, like the other versions, is expected to make a significant contribution to the Baltic defence stream. The Estonian government decided on the financing of the missile system in 2020, and a contract was signed between the Estonian Center for Defense Investments and Proteus Advanced Systems in 2021. The Estonian defense industry company ProLift, which carries out vehicle modifications suitable for the missile system, is also involved in the project. The Estonian company is carrying out modification work for trucks where launchers are used. The Baltic country Estonia has changed the balances in the Baltics in an incredible way by deploying resources such as Blue Spera, anti-ship missiles, and HIMARS, launcher trucks, that will be used to launch these missiles against Russia. But this is not Estonia's only move. Last September, a new military base was opened in Camp Rido, 30 kilometers from Russian territory, a three-hour drive from the Estonian capital Tallinn. It is the first military base built in Estonia since the end of the Soviet era in 1991. As early as 2025, it is planned to host American troops. Dozens of hangars have been built on a site that has just been cleared of trees and asphalt. There are only 14 months between the decision to start work in the summer of 2023 and its inauguration on September 17th under the shadow of Estonian, European Union, and NATO flags. Until now, Estonia's main military establishments have been in the north of the country, near the Baltic Sea, but Rido signals a desire to strengthen their military presence on the southern flank, which Estonians believe is most exposed to Russian expansionism. The military base is seen as part of NATO's new military plans, which were agreed by decree in July 2023. The purpose of the base is to prevent the slightest Russian aggression on NATO territory in order to avoid a fait accompli policy, as in the case of Ukraine. So what is the current situation at the base site in Estonia? The pace of construction seems to have taken the residents of the surrounding summer cottages by surprise. Their huts, once located on the shore of a tranquil lake, now stand next to asphalt roads that will soon be lined with columns of military equipment. Eventually, Rido's right-of-way will become part of a vast training camp called Nursipalu, whose surface area will triple in the coming months to 10,000 hectares. This base area is equivalent to the Mourmelon camp in northeastern France used by the French army. As we mentioned, this huge base will become much more powerful with the presence of U.S. troops. So far, the first 500 or so American soldiers who will be the first to move into the new facilities have been placed in blue containers lined up a few kilometers away at the Tara base, a former Soviet-era complex. These soldiers began arriving in Estonia at the end of 2023, following the signing of a bilateral cooperation agreement between Tallinn and Washington. Since then, their presence has grown steadily and Tara's facilities have become very crowded. In absolute terms, 
The new base will be able to accommodate up to 1,000 soldiers of all nationalities. According to the Estonian Center for Defense Investments, the public institution responsible for managing Tallinn's military procurement, the cost of the Camp Rideau project, which will include soldiers of different nationalities, is $18 million all paid from the defense budget. A military medical center and a new headquarters will also be built around this project, 70 kilometers further north in Tartu. Estonians consider that Rido is clearly designed for wartime, with modular buildings designed to house tanks and armored vehicles. In addition, it has been reported that the Amari base, southwest of Tallinn, currently closed for major renovations, will be reopened to accommodate a larger number of fighter jets with an investment of millions of euros. The base is of great importance for NATO's Baltic Air Commissaria. NATO has been protecting the Baltic skies since 2004, when Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania joined the alliance. NATO member states with the necessary capabilities voluntarily contribute to the NATO air policing mission in the Baltic states, and this responsibility is rotated every four months. Since the deployment of the mission in 2004, participating NATO fighter jets have been based at Xiaoliai Air Base in Lithuania. Since 2014, NATO aircraft have been based at Imari Air Base in Estonia. On November 8, 2024, Estonia celebrated the official reopening of Imari Air Base after completing a comprehensive renovation of the aircraft operating surfaces, enhancing the base's capabilities, and increasing Estonia's support to the NATO Air Police mission in the region. Now, with the renovation of this base area, NATO's Air Force deterrence against Russia in the Baltics will increase. Colonel Ticker Poo, commander of the Estonian Army's 2nd Infantry Brigade, said that Estonia's goal with these all-out and international plans is to resist Russia to the end in the event of a possible war. With such military steps, the Estonian government continues to send clear messages against Russia. But of course, the country feels some military shortcomings, despite the recent increase in its strength. The Estonian army still consists of only 7,700 people, more than half of whom are soldiers. To protect its territory in the event of an attack, Estonia relies in part on some 16,000 members of the Defense Corps, a kind of paramilitary branch of volunteers tasked with defending their assigned perimeter. The country has also increased the number of reservists available for mobilization, but Estonia has neither fighter jets nor a real navy. According to a commentary from the Center for Oriental Studies, a research center based in Poland, Estonian forces also lack the funds to maintain army brigades to the degree required. In the Estonian Mechanized Brigade, only one of the three battalions is actually mechanized. The other two are supported only by wheeled armored personnel carriers armed with machine guns. In order to close this gap and eliminate weaknesses within the army, Estonia will create a large reserve unit to patrol the border against threats from Russia and Belarus. According to the Estonian Ministry of Defense, Russia, together with Belarus, could intensify hybrid attacks on Europe's eastern borders in the next decade. According to the ministry, uncontrolled migration in Europe can negatively influence political decisions and public opinion, for example, in Germany, France, and Spain. Estonia is also under this threat, and in order to be prepared for such situations, a thousand reserve troops will be created to strengthen border security. To protect itself, Estonia plans to build around 600 bunkers along its 300-kilometer border with Russia by 2026. This line of fortifications will be extended to Lithuania and Latvia under an agreement signed in January between the three Baltic states. The project, which represents an investment of 60 million euros for Tallinn, includes storage areas where anti-passage equipment, i.e. barbed wire and rakes, will be pre-positioned and ditches will be built. According to the Estonian defense minister, the first of these bunkers should be built before the end of the year. In addition, the country's military security in the international arena is being bolstered by different forces. In an emergency, Estonia could theoretically rely on the presence of NATO troops 
which have been deployed in the north of the country for several years under the leadership of the United Kingdom. Some 1,000 British and 400 French troops are stationed at bases around Tallinn. But the weaknesses of the British Army, which has to cope with long-planned troop cuts, regularly raise questions among Estonians. A new light infantry company of 140 French soldiers was therefore expected to arrive in October as reinforcements. The Estonian wing has also stepped up its military export activities. To strengthen its arsenal, Estonia signed an agreement with the United States in 2022 to purchase several missiles, including HIMARS-type multiple rocket launchers and ATACMAS, with a range of up to 300 kilometers, the distance between Tallinn and St. Petersburg. The Estonians also concluded an agreement for the purchase of 12 French-made Caesar self-propelled guns, half of which are scheduled to be delivered before the end of the year. In addition, Estonia continues to adopt a policy of increasing defense spending. After Poland, Estonia is at the top of the NATO class, spending 3.4% of its GDP on defense. A significant portion of this is earmarked for the purchase of ammunition, with $1.6 billion planned to be spent by 2031. But faced with the challenges facing Ukrainian forces and Europe's slow pace of arms deliveries, Estonians do not intend to depend solely on their allies. Like other Baltic states, Estonians want to make their territory more attractive to potential investors in the defense sector. At the heart of Estonia's military spending, security measures, and international military relations is the fact that Russia does indeed pose a serious threat to the Baltics going forward. Tucked away in a corner of northeastern Europe, the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania do not at first glance appear to be critical cornerstones of European security. With only 4% of the total EU territorial area between the three of them and a population of only 6 million, they may seem to an outsider to be just a few of Europe's many countries. Yet, in the space of just 13 years, these countries have gone from being part of the Soviet Union to full-fledged members of both the EU and NATO in 2004. Due to their unique history and proximity to Russia, their security can be a litmus paper for the future success of the European project. Failure to meet the challenges and needs of Baltic security would be disastrous for the current European and international order. This failure could take many forms, as will be discussed, but any one of them could destroy faith in the importance of the EU, NATO, and the US as guarantors of stability and security and the consequences of such a failure are of global importance. Therefore, Estonia aims to protect itself against threats from Russia through military-political relations with its neighbors and other countries in the Baltics. In summary, Estonia wants to protect the Baltic Sea against the Russian Navy with the Blue Sparar missiles, to remind that it is still an important military power with the military base areas it has built, and to create global solidarity against Putin's wide-ranging possible war cries with the close international military relations it has established. Thank you for following us.